What's going on guys, welcome to a new video. So today then, I wanna to talk to you guys about um, why most people tend to fail when it comes to drop shipping and whether you can actually make some money doing this or not. I'm aware I've done a video on this topic before, but there are a lot more subscribers to the channel now. I'm talking to a lot of new people, um, which is pretty cool. It's interesting to get to know where you're currently at, kind of like the stages in your journey. Um, however, the same kind of um, question keeps popping up and that's whether dropshipping actually works or not so that's what I want to address today in this video I've got some notes on my phone um, just to make sure I don't forget anything but before we jump into point number one then um, I just want to mention quickly I am giving away a free one-to-one -one call um, with me in this video I do in every single video um, and if you want to enter that draw then all you have to do is simply like the video and leave a comment down below and if you commented on my previous video then, just make sure you stay tuned to the end of this one where the winner will be announced. And that being said then, let's jump straight into point number one. So point number one then is time. Um, a lot of people I speak to who say dropshipping doesn't work or they're not getting the results they want to get um, have barely been in business like two weeks, three weeks, sometimes even even like up to three months, in my opinion, is just not enough time um, to give up or some on something or have the opinion that something doesn't work. Because at the end of the day, if it only took three months to be successful and make lots of money, then wouldn't everybody be doing it? So um, I had to think about this kind of like a way to prove the point and come up with a metaphor. So the metaphor I want to share with you is that if you think about learning to drive, millions and millions of people know how to drive a car and have a, have a driving license. And the main reason for that being is because it's an easy thing to do. It only takes 20 to 40 hours. Um, I Google this on average, it takes somebody 20 to 40 hours of lessons to learn how to drive. Therefore, millions of people drive because it's an easy thing to do. It doesn't take a lot of time to do so. Whereas if it took, say, 400 hours to get a driving license, there'd be a lot less people driving. And business is the same way. If it was easy, then millions and millions of people would be doing it. Especially Shopify dropshipping, there's not actually that many people that are successful at it. And that's because it just takes a lot more time than what people realize. And the reason being for that then is social media, pretty much. Um, in my opinion, I blame social media because it can be so easy to kind of create a false representation of what something actually is or how long it actually takes or how much dedication is actually required. If you just take the fitness the fitness niche, for example, on Instagram, um, it just creates a false representation of how much work and dedication actually goes in to looking um, like a fitness model. And you don't see all the work that they do. You don't see the 5 a.m. morning cardio that they do. You don't see the two, three hours of cooking that they do every single day. And that's because that's not the sort of thing that people want to see on social media. They want to see the model... Um, model in their body or whatever it is that's the kind of things that get views so they're only going to put those kind of things on social media what you don't actually see is the work that goes in behind it and it's the same thing with everything when it comes to business people don't want to um, tell people how difficult something is because that's not what one, what people want to hear nowadays. They want to hear that something's easy and that just isn't the case. And dropshipping, in my opinion, um, should not be seen as an easy way to make money because it's, um, it's just not. Now, on the flip side of that, yes, you can make money and if you get onto the right product and you know what you're doing, you can make a lot of money very, very quickly but just don't try to stop comparing yourself against people you see on social media. Just because they're making money really quickly, it doesn't mean that um, you should be doing it as well. The last thing you wanna do is compare yourself to other people, just stay in your lane, just stay in your lane, keep your head down, keep learning, keep focusing on what you're doing, stay motivated, um, and that's the main thing that you just keep doing, you just keep going. Finish off point number one then, which is time. Um, another metaphor just to share with you, because I find this is quite like a good way to picture how you achieve something. And that is that you have to buy things with your time. So if you want to learn how to drive a car, then you have to buy that with your time. It's gonna take you, it's gonna cost you X amount of hours before you have the skill to pass your test. And you can apply that to business as well. So if you wanna start and create a dropshipping business that's gonna produce, say, 10 grand a month in clear profit, um, then that's gonna cost you your time and it's gonna cost you X amount of hours. Now it might cost, um, it's gonna and it's gonna be a different price for every different person because everybody has different experience, everybody sees things in different ways, but ultimately it's gonna cost X amount of time. So as long as you keep putting that time in, um, then eventually you're gonna get there, things are gonna start clicking, you're gonna start making money. Now the hardest thing about that is that you don't know how much time it's gonna cost you. It might cost you 100 hours, it might cost you 1,000 hours, it might cost you 10,000 hours, but it goes back to the previous point. The most important thing is you stay in your line, you stay in your lane, um, 
keep your head down keep learning keep applying yourself to this and ultimately the final destination then is always um, your goals as long as you work hard and you work smart so the second point i want to share with you guys and why many people fail is the fact that there's too many copycats out there so I know this kind of somewhat contradicts my previous video which is using other people as inspiration but that's all you should be using them for you shouldn't be copying them step by step because just by copying people in too many ways you're just going to blend in with everybody else and ultimately the way you've got to think about it is that most people fail so if you do the same as what most people are doing then you're going to get the same results you're going to fail so using other people as inspiration is fine but you have to make sure that you stand out from the crowd Facebook especially is getting more and more popular with advertisers more and more people advertising on it so if you just put out like an ad that doesn't really get much attention or um, doesn't really interest your viewers that much then you're not going to stand out from the crowd and ultimately you're not going to get the results that you want a good example then just to prove this point I always like to give examples because um, information alone is not really that important unless you have proof and evidence so a good example of this then if you go look at a company called Blue Crate, I've spoken about them before in previous videos, um, they're a great example of this second point that I'm trying to make that too many people are copying cat and eat. Too many people are basically just copying each other. So if you go look at Blue Crate, um, look at their website, find them on Facebook, look at their ads. Um, they sell products that people would consider as saturated but because they advertise them in a unique way they've invested time into actors into actually buying the product in themselves featuring it um, and advertising it in a clever way that nobody else is that even if somebody sees that product and they've seen it 10 times before even 100 times before because they're marketing it in a unique way that stands out and appeals to their customer on a higher level than the previous ads then people are buying their products and that just kind of illustrates my point quite nicely so make sure you go and check them out and again use them for inspiration just look at the kind of things that they've done in order to become as successful as they have so to finish off this point then and to help you when it comes to marketing your products then I want to change your way of thinking and when it comes to marketing your products and creating your ad ultimately that's the most important bit because that's what's going to grab somebody's attention then instead of thinking too much about what the customer wants or what kind of products they would buy um, think will this go viral so when you create your ad that is the thinking that you want in your mind will this go viral and then you've got to do your research into viral ads what does it take for an ad to go viral ultimately it takes a lot of interest from the audience because they're the people that cause something to go viral by commenting on it by liking by engaging and by sharing the post so that's the kind of level of thinking that you need to have when you're creating in your ad so once you've changed your way of thinking then you need to start doing research into what grabs people's attention what causes somebody to give you their attention and focus their eyes on your ad um, and things like faces in ads I will you will struggle to find a, a post that has gone viral on Facebook that doesn't have a human face in it if you do know of one then make sure you DM me and send me the link that's how confident I am so and that's why blue crate works so well as well because no matter what the product is there's always people um, laughing showing emotions featured in their ads because that's the kind of thing that gains the most um, traction gains the most attention and therefore has the the most capabilities of actually going viral on Facebook moving on to point number three then which is vision so when I speak to most people they have absolutely no idea where they want to be in the next two weeks um, let alone the next two months or two years now what you've got to think about it then is that if you don't have a map or a plan then essentially you're going to be fishing in the dark you're, going, you're soon going to go off the rails go off go out of your lane and ultimately you're just going to end up not succeeding or not at least not getting to where you want to be and that's going to lead to demotivation and ultimately lead to you wanting to quit or just making your mind up that drop shipping doesn't work when that just isn't the case now some people might say that having a map doesn't work because nothing is linear um, and you would be correct Correct, but at least by having a map you can constantly review where you're at um, review your progress and then make the changes necessary to get back on course so my advice to people would be then just to treat it like a real business because that's what you're starting at the end of the day so set yourself a budget say right I'm going to invest a thousand pounds into this um, and that will force you to spend your money wisely so you won't just keep throwing more and more money into your Facebook ads you won't just spend money on things that aren't important it will force you to budget and just spend your money wisely basically Another thing that you want to do then is that find out what people actually want in your niche. So one thing I do when I'm advertising a new product is 
I'll start with it as a post and then use that post as the ad and the first comment will always be my comment and it will be me asking people then for feedback on the product, on the ad, on the price um, and you'll be surprised at how many people will actually take the time to comment and say I won't buy this because of this, I won't buy this because of this or um, I absolutely love the product but um, this is what's causing me not to buy it because ultimately the best people to ask why your product isn't selling um, is your target audience. So my final words then in this video before we announce the winner um, and just to kind of wrap it up is that you need to sit down really and just think about why you're actually getting into dropshipping and what you actually want from it and then once you've wrote that down and you've got a clear answer then you need to create a plan to match that because depending on what your answer is then will depend on the kind of actions you take. So um, just to give you two quick examples, if you've got a short term goal to make some money just quickly just or maybe just a bit of extra money on the side, then that'll be completely different thinking to whether you want to make some money in the long term. If it's short term, for example, then you need to be focusing on viral products and it's going to require some quick cash injection to make some money quickly because the more you spend on Facebook then the more potential there is to make even more money um, when it comes to selling products. Now just a quick word of warning on that and that is that if you're not if you're not making money spending a hundred pound a day then you're probably not going to make any money spending 500 pound a day so just make sure you're making money um, when you're spending little amounts before you start scaling things. And on the flip side of that then if you've got a long-term plan then ultimately you want to be creating something that you're going to enjoy in five years time. The last thing you want to do is get that far down the road and then think like damn I really don't enjoy doing this anymore so you don't just want to be thinking about the viral products that are going to make you with that initial money you want to be thinking about the products that you have an interest in that you like um, and that you can have pride in as well so when you meet a new person or someone you really care about and they ask you what you do for a living then ultimately you want to tell them about something you are proud in because it's going to make you feel good and you don't want to be embarrassed about what you're selling or what you're doing either because then you'll just dread the question and you'll find yourself just becoming unmotivated to keep doing it basically. So if you do want to do dropshipping then for the long term then you've got to be thinking along the lines of building a proper brand um, and giving your customers value for free with things like blog posts just to get them back onto your website trusting you and building those relationships because ultimately that's what's going to be key to your longevity and creating a long term and sustainable and ultimately profitable business then so that being said then guys i think that pretty much just wraps up the video if you're still watching thank you very much um hopefully you've learned something new and hopefully then i've just motivated some of you guys to stick with this um, put your head down and just get stuck back into it because i know that when you don't see the results that you want then it can be really demotivating and it can be easy to give up but trust me drop shipping 100 does work however it's not as easy as you might think um, so it just requires a lot of work, a lot of hard work and a lot of smart work as well. So that being said, guys, if you're still watching, thank you very much. If you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like. And if you want a chance then to win a call with me, all you have to do is just make sure you leave a comment down below. And that being said, then let's get into announcing the winner of the previous video. What's going on then, guys? So here we are in the previous video, the easiest way to be successful at dropshipping in 2019. So if you haven't seen that video, please do make sure you go and check it out. Um, I'm just going to take the URL then, as you can see in the top left, head over to our random comment picker paste it in there get the youtube comments 44 unique comments i think that's actually a record so thank you very much guys the support recently has just been phenomenal so please do keep it coming and the winner of the previous video then is adam maycock so thanks adam for your comment hit me up on instagram that's the best way and we can get that call arranged and that being said then guys if you just want to get straight down to business and you don't want to keep waiting to see if you've got a chance of winning and you just want to book a call straight away um, then you actually can do so there is a link in the video description down below so make sure you go ahead and check that one out and that being said then guys i'm going to wrap the video up thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one